is the MCV Farm News Special Mid-Season Bulletin and I'm your host Juan Michelli Martinez. The growing season is in full swing and we figured it would be a good time to recap some of the things that have occurred up to this point in the vineyard. The year had its adversities right from the beginning with a bitterly cold winter that made pruning challenging. The cold winter caused what we sometimes refer to as winter kill. Winter kill occurs when extremely cold temperatures kill tiny pre-emergent buds. These buds will provide the growth for the upcoming season. We saw winter kill in about 5% of the vineyard overall. It also seemed that some buds were not killed but suffered effects which has resulted in underdeveloped growth. Once the vineyard was pruned, the crew then pulled the unwanted plant material which we call brush. This brush was chopped using our flail chopper. The brush, once chopped, returns to the vineyard and will ultimately provide valuable organic matter. During and immediately after the brush is chopped, the laborious task of tying canes down commences. The tying of canes is the first step in establishing our vertical shoot positioning or VSP method of vineyard management. In early May, we had a nice, slow, and even bud break due to the cool spring weather. In some years, we get extreme heat around bud break, which accelerates growth, creating additional challenges for our vineyard crew. Things were relatively dry throughout bud break and remain so right until bloom. Bloom is a very sensitive time in which our vines develop inflorescences. An inflorescence has multiple tiny and very delicate flowers. These flowers are easily damaged by rain. Unfortunately, we had some very heavy rains during bloom. As expected, we saw shatter, which is our fancy way of saying that the rain affected bloom. As a result, we now have clusters which appear to be missing grapes and sometimes can be described as scraggly. While this is not ideal, there are some advantages to fewer grapes on a cluster. Immediately after bloom, we anxiously remove the leaves from the area on the vine which we call the fruiting zone. By removing leaves from this area, we maximize cluster fruit exposure to the sun and increase the efficiency of vineyard material applications. Now with leaves missing from the fruiting zone, we can see the newly formed clusters. These clusters have many developing berries. All of these berries and clusters remain green and match the coloring of the canopy. The berries will plump up a bit more and then we will enter a time called bunch closure and ultimately lag phase. It is at this point the vine focuses focuses its resources on developing the mechanism by which its DNA will be projected forward, the seed. While we seek to make wine, the vine ultimately seeks to make more vines. So once the seed is fully formed, we will enter the most visually intriguing time in the vineyard, veraison. We will cover veraison in future episodes of the Farm News. It is crazy to think that in only six to eight weeks, harvest will be in full effect. As always, we look forward to seeing you soon and remember to drink local and always drink responsibly. Cheers.